And we're back with part three, creating a Star Wars style title sequence. When last we talked, I was setting this orientation, and I found that 275 degrees is going to be about right for what we want to do. Uh, now, setting the resolution, well, I'm going to take it all the way down to a quarter just for now. I'm going to bring this up to fit the window. And you can see that as the Star Wars logo is fading out, the scroll is going off into the distance. Okay? And it stops right about there in about 30 seconds. And that's just not good enough, so what the heck? Let's go back to uh, our scroll and look at, the, oh, look at the keyframes are already at, at here at 15 seconds. Well, we want that all the way down to about a minute 30. Okay, so now going back to our main composition and I'm watching it. All right, it's much slower now. All right, let's go ahead and ren render that out and take a look at it. Well, before we do that, I'm going to just take my scroll and sc scale it up just a little bit here. I'm going to get make that a little bit bigger. Take it a little closer to the edges of the of the screen there. Just make it look a little more ominous. There we go. Okay, let's render it out and take a look. Okay, now that we have that render, let's take a look at that. As the Star Wars logo goes back, you know, let's skip ahead a bit. And we can see it fade out, and the scroll starts to come in. Now, that's still pretty slow. That is still pretty darn slow. Let's take a look at that and see if we want to make that any faster, because I think we do. Yeah, that's a little slow. So let's go back and, and speed that up a little bit. We go back into the scroll, and we just move the keyframe back about 15 seconds to the finish point. Okay, I'm back to the main. Let's take a look at that. Let's see. Let's see how we're doing time-wise here now. So one more thing we're going to do as soon as we check out this speed. There's one more thing we're going to do to kind of push this over the cliff and make it look uh, really good using a camera and depth of field to give it that extra little push. Now I like that time much better. There we go. Very nice. Okay, moving on. I'm also thinking that the angle is a little extreme, so we're going to go from 275, we're going to back it down to about 280. There, let's just punch that in. We'll go, we'll go with that. Okay, we're ready to add our camera. We like the angle of the scroll, looking good. Why they chose that justified the way they did with the big gaps between the words, I don't know, but that's the way they did it. Okay, under layer, we're going to add a new camera. Uh, 50 millimeters just fine. Click OK. Now with the camera, scroll down or twirl down. Camera options. Camera options. There we go. Uh, depth of field. We're going to turn that on. And look, the text got blurry. That's okay. We're just going to set the the uh, focus distance until the stuff up front gets real clear. And all we have to do is start cranking it up until it comes into focus. Let's turn the resolution up so we can see it more clearly. I'm going to turn it up to full for this. All right. Let's just crank up that focus distance here. Well, that's looking pretty good right there. Looking pretty, pretty good right there. About 1,500, I think, is going to be about the magic number for that. And now as the text goes farther off into the distance, it gets kind of out of focusy and blurry, and, and that's uh, pretty much what we're looking for. Right? Now with the resolution back on one quarter, let's figure out where this text stops now. right about there so let's come back a little bit alright and let's get out of the camera go into the scroll and hit T for opacity and here we're gonna click to make a keyframe and then go a few frames in another second or so and take the opacity all the way down and basically we're done now, if you're a purist, you're certainly going to want to go in here and tweak some of these settings a little bit. The timing looks good. The uh, depth of field looks good. It uh, looks pretty good to me. There's going to be, uh, you know, the, the timing that the logo fades out, this and that, the other thing. Just go in there and tweak your little settings and uh, make it look exactly the way you want it to look. Use your own text. Do whatever you're going to do. Be creative. But I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. And don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel. This is Stan Arthur saying see you next time.